hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we are going to create a stopwatch using html css and javascript you can add this javascript mini project in your resume or your portfolio you can see in this stopwatch if i click on this play icon it will start playing this timer and it is increasing in each seconds it is displaying the hours minute and seconds if i click on this stop icon it will stop this counting it is stopped at 21 second and if i click on the play again it will resume it from the same time you can see it is again increasing by one second if i click on this reset button it will reset it to zero you can see the timer is displaying zero again so we will learn to create this stopwatch using html css and javascript step by step in this video so keep watching this video till the end here we have this folder stopwatch and in this one here we have one html file one css file and another folder called images and in this folder you can see some icons and one background image you can find all these images download link in the video description next we will open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code you can use any code editor so this is the html file where I have added the basic HTML structure and this one is the CSS file which is blank right now and in this HTML file here we have the link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file. In this CSS file here we will add body and for this body we will add the background this color code. After that we will come back to the folder and open this html file with any web browser <coughs> you can see this plain color on the complete web page let's close this browser and i will open it with the visual studio code extension called live server so it will refresh the website automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file so you can see the same web page but the url has been changed next we will add the code in this html file so within this body tag we will add one div with the class name stopwatch within this stopwatch we will add one h1 tag and in this h1 we will add the time that will be zero zero hours zero minute and zero seconds like this after that we have to add some buttons so we will add div with the class name buttons In this buttons we will add different icons so write img tag and file path of the image first one will be stop.png then next is play and next one is reset after adding this again come back to the website you can see this number and this stop icon and reset icon let's come back and instead of this play icon we will add start icon it is start.png so you can see this play icon here the name is start.png now just come back and we will add the css for this stopwatch let's come to the css file for this stopwatch we will add the css so write stopwatch here and we will add the width it will be 90 percent and the maximum width will be 600 pixel then we will add the background image and in this image we will add one colored layer in dark color so we will add linear gradient and write the color code after this linear gradient color we will add url and in this url we will add the file path of the background image so write images slash background dot png then we will add the background size and background position after that you can see it is here with the background image and one dark layer on this background image 
next we have to change its position so let's come back and here we will add text align center and uh, let's add the padding of 40 pixel and 0 then we will add color color will be white and we will add the margin it will be 200 pixel auto and 0 then we will add the box shadow zero ten pixel ten pixel and color after adding this you can see it is in the center next we will change the font style of this number so for that we will use the google font open google fonts and here we will search for the font name courier prime click here then click on this regular it is displaying in this right sidebar here we will get this url to add in the css file just copy this one come to the css file and uh, above this body tag we will add this import url then we will add this font family here in this body like this after that you can see the changed font for this number after adding this let's come back to the css file and in this stopwatch we have the text in h1 so for this h1 we will add the margin from the top then let's increase the font size and we will change the font weight it will be light after that we will add the css for these icons and it is in the div called buttons so let's come back and here we will add that class name buttons and for this buttons we will add the display flex align items center and justify content center so that all three icons will be horizontally aligned again we will add that class name then write img for each icons we will add the width it will be 50 pixel then margin it will be 0 and 20 pixel and cursor will be pointer now you can see all three icons in the equal size we have to increase the size of the middle icon which is the play icon or a start icon so let's come back and here again write this one then write nth child 2 for the second image we will increase the width it is 80 pixel now you can see increased size for this icon after that we have to add the javascript so that it will start running the timer and we can stop the timer and we can reset the timer so let's come back to the html file and we have to change the time in this h1 so in this h1 let's add one id and the id is display time and just of this closing body tag we will add the script tag and within this script we will add let seconds minutes and hours equal to 0 0 and 0 so here we are creating one array where the seconds is 0 minutes 0 and hours 0 then we will add variable for display time so write display time equal to document dot get element by id and write this id now we have to create one function for the stopwatch in the stopwatch seconds value will be increasing by one every second when it will come to the 60 second then it will become zero and it will increase the minute value by one 
and when the minute will become 60 it will change the hours value by 1 so we have to create this function so write function stopwatch and in this stopwatch let's add seconds plus plus it means it is increasing the seconds value by 1 then we will add if seconds equal equal 60 when the value is equal to 60 then it will become 0 so write seconds equal to 0 and there will be one more thing it will increase the minute value so write minutes plus plus it will increase the minutes value by 1 now again we will add the if condition in this if we will add minutes equal equal 60 when the minutes value is 60 then it will become 0 minutes will be 0 and it will increase the hours value hours plus plus so this is the function for the stopwatch now we have to execute this function every second so every second it will increase the value by one second for that we have to use the javascript time interval so here let's add function and watch start so whenever we will start the watch then it will execute this function at every seconds so it will increase the value y1 at every second for that here we will add set time interval and this a stopwatch and 1000 milliseconds it means one second but if the timer is already running then it should clear the interval and it will start the executing at every second again so here in this variables we will add one more variable let timer equal to null and here we will add this into timer and before that we will add if timer not equal to null then it should clear this interval so write clear interval and timer that's it next we have to call this function after clicking on the start button so just copy this one and come here in the html code in this start button we will add on click equal to watch a start it will execute this function watch a start here it is watch a start and it will execute this a stopwatch at every second this one and in this one we have to update the html element at every second that is this time display or display time in this display time we have to display the exact hours minutes and seconds so write inner html equal to it will display the hours minutes and seconds at every second so let's check the website if i click here it is displaying in single digit until it is greater or equal to 10 then we have to change it as 00 01 02 like that we have to add one zero for that let's come back and here we will add h h is for hours first we will add let 
let h equal to hours less than 10 if it is less than 10 then we will add one zero so write zero then plus hours colon hours let's duplicate it it will be m for minutes and it is seconds next we have to display this value h m and s so here we will add h m and s after adding this we will come back to the website and if i click on this play icon you can see it is displaying the result in two digits and it is increasing the timer at every seconds and when it will come to 60 second then it will increase the minute value by one so after 59 seconds you can see it changed the minute value by one so right now it is one minute and some seconds next we have to add the functionality to stop or reset this timer so let's come back and uh, here we have function for watch a start we will add function watch stop to stop this watch we have to add this one clear interval timer and again duplicate it and it will be watch reset for watch reset also we have to clear the interval and we have to set the minutes seconds hours zero so here it is let's copy this one and paste it here it will start from zero and then we have to display the zero zero and zero in this h1 for that here we will add display time dot inner html equal to zero hours minutes and seconds that's it then we have to call these function when we will click on the icon to stop the timer we will add this here on click on click equal to watch a stop and this is the watch reset write it here on click equal to watch reset after adding this let's come back to the website and if i click on the play icon you can see it will start running this timer and it is increasing and if i click on the stop it will stop the timer at nine seconds let's click on the play again and again it is increasing and if i click here it stops at 14 seconds and let's click on this reset icon and it will reset the timer and if you will click on play icon it will start from zero so you can see zero one two three so finally we have completed this stopwatch using html css and javascript i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video